We'll here now discuss the latest on the Russian spy poisoning issue as well as DACA update and the March for Life protests took taking place last weekend. We will have now in studio our political expert, Lee Bynes, here to join us and uh, Lee, a lot to talk about. Never a, a dull moment. Yeah, so let's get right let's sure. uh, let's get right at it. Of course, we want to talk the latest about the Russian probe. Right. Uh, a lot still being uh, investigated. What can you tell us about bringing us up to speed? Well, you know what? It's funny because uh, Theresa May is pretty much um, uh, mobilizing the entire world right now against uh, Russia regarding the uh, the poisonings that was done in Salisbury, England, as well as uh, there was a strangulation. They don't talk about that as much either. A strangulation in uh, in London. Um, over the last uh, couple of weeks, uh, they've been, you know, bringing uh, the, the, the entire uh, international community down on Russia. However, there's, there's something that, that's a little bothersome because Theresa May has yet to produce any evidence, proof, proof or anything of, uh, of their findings. And there's been no independent investigation by uh, credible sources who have experience in, in, uh, in uh, detecting and determining who may be responsible uh, for the uh, nerve agents uh, that's been uh, that's been used in this particular incident. So um, uh, I, I just find it a little difficult right now. I'm not a shill for the Russians. I have written a couple of books uh, on uh, Russia and Val Vladimir Putin, and they were somewhat f flattery because, as far as I'm concerned, Vladimir Putin is doing exactly what Donald Trump is trying to do. He's trying to make Russia great again. But um, uh, I just found it uh, pretty interesting that uh, Donald Trump would uh, accept the, the uh, information and intelligence from uh, the Brits, but he won't even uh, accept the intelligence from the United States. Which has been the criticism. How do you accept the, you know, the, the intelligence information that's coming from Theresa May and out of England, but yet and still here at home, all the things that have been said and no admission that the Russians really had any involvement? <laughs> you know what, that is a great lead-in, and I got the perfect answer to you, uh, uh, answer for you on that. You know, James Clapper, former CIA director, as well as uh, John Brennan, uh, former director of uh, national intelligence, they've both been out in the media talking to anybody who's willing to listen, mm -hmm. saying that uh, from their point of view, they suspect that Donald Trump has been compromised. And uh, it, which, which would uh, give you a, a reason to understand uh, why he's been so timid when it comes to Russia or anything related to, to Vladimir Putin. My problem with that situation is, is that considering what we already know about Donald Trump and, uh, the, uh, and all of the uh, uh, sexual allegations against him, the, uh, the Stormy Daniels, the uh, McDougal young lady, and the, all of the, this, this uh, parade of uh, lawsuits that he's involved in, with what we already know about Donald Trump, how much more could... Uh, of Vladimir Putin and the Russians have on him. It's got to be pretty bad because the average married man that uh, are facing the allegations and uh, the lawsuits that he's facing right now would be, well, that's, I'd have to use that for, no, for another term. It would <laughs> you have, have to be term, term. You have term, right, not right, a cable term, right. But that's not a cable, a cable term that I could use, but they would be uh, in, trouble. Uh, in, in serious trouble going home. How he's able to get away with this with his wife, Melania, I have no idea. Perhaps it's an arrangement that they have between them. Maybe she has a non-disclosure agreement that she signed. I have no idea. But I do know that, uh, uh, that, that Donald Trump had to be kicking, had brought to the table kicking and screaming in order to, to get these uh, uh, 60 uh, diplomats kicked out of the country. Um, they've got seven days to vacate. Uh, they're on their way right now. And again, uh, this is a process that's being led by, by the Brits and not by the United States. In other world news, we have a big situation going on between North Korea and China. Both leaders are uh, meeting. Give us the latest here. Interesting that, uh, that this would happen, because if you recall, during the, uh, the South Korea Olympics, um, um, uh, President uh, Mu Jae-in uh, met with uh, uh, members of the, uh, the North Korean uh, delegation, sat down with them. They decided to have a talk. Second big meeting that came up came up with, between uh, uh, Xi Jinping mm -hmm. and uh, North Korea. They met yesterday. Uh, they, were, um, uh, they were in uh, uh, China, Beijing, for uh, about, I don't know, four days uh, discussing where they were going to, uh, to be. And it seems to me that a lot of the negotiations on uh, what's going to happen on the Korean Peninsula is already happening right now. By the time Donald Trump and his crew reaches uh, Pyongyang, or oh, I'm sorry, they're going to have that in uh, Seoul. They're going to mm -hmm. be in Seoul. If, they, if it happens, we don't know. Uh, the deal, whatever the deal is, is probably going to be done already. And uh, the Trump administration is uh, not gaining any friends, and that's probably one of the reasons why 
uh, Kim Jong Un met with him in uh, China early on is because um, Donald Trump has been giving the Chinese hell, quite frankly, in terms of uh, going after them uh, with regards to the tariffs, going after them uh, because of uh, intellectual property theft as far as the United States is concerned. Uh, the Chinese are trying to do all that they can to keep a trade war from happening, but they are willing to retaliate. What's the blowback going to be, given the fact that he has come up with these uh, sanctions slash tariffs? Well, uh, with regards to uh, North Korea, it's difficult to say, but based upon who he selected to uh, be his new uh, national security advisor, John Bolton, John Bolton is a hawk, a, a, a hawk like you wouldn't believe. He's, he was one of the, the main uh, advisors that talked uh, the United States into Iraq. Uh, to this day, he still thinks this is a good idea. He's uh, been uh, very, very hard on uh, the Iranians. He's been w w trying to get uh, the United States to back out of that deal. And uh, he's uh, just uh, wrote an uh, op-ed piece about 30 days ago uh, putting together a legal uh, reason for um, bombing uh, North Korea first. So uh, with all of that uh, saber-rattling going on and the team that he's built uh, that are definitely uh, uh, looking more for a first strike option as opposed to negotiating, uh, the, North, the North Koreans are going to come to the table uh, with, with a hard line and uh, with them meeting with China first uh, and pretty much getting on China's good side, uh, they're going to have some legs to stand on. Mm -hmm. DACA is the big talk of the uh, country still. But, uh, mm -hmm. okay, I'll let you... Well, uh, yeah, because I'm kind of excited about that, that topic. I've been fo following it a while. Um, if you recall, just uh, last week, the president, to his chagrin, supposedly, signed a uh, $1.3 trillion budget. Now, in that that bill, there was an opportunity for uh, Congress to take a stand and say, well, we want to do something about DACA. We want to do something about immigration reform right now before we put this thing through. Not a word was said. So as, as right now, with regards to DACA, with regards to the overall undocumented community, they are still in limbo. But um, that's not even a good thing either, simply because of the fact that ICE is, is uh, you know, moving on with their operations and picking up people um, uh, left and right. The other thing is, is that just the other day, uh, the Census Bureau um, uh, issued right. uh, a, 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 an edict that uh, they're going to be uh, having a question on... Uh, on that, uh, that questionnaire, whether or not uh, there's anybody, any undocumented uh, uh, residents in the household, or is you have to sign off that you are uh, a U.S. citizen. Now, what I haven't had a chance to, to, uh, to uh, um, uh, dig up right now is what are the repercussions for, A, not telling the truth when you do it? Is that a crime? Because as you know, all it takes is any crime whatsoever, no, how, no matter how small, uh, for you to uh, qualify to be Deported. Deported. Mm -hmm. So uh, what we can say with regards to DACA right now is it, difficult. Um, the, they have no advocates right now in Congress. It seems that uh, business as usual is moving on. Pretty much what happened to health care. You know what? They actually repealed or did as much as that what they could do to repeal o Obamacare. But they didn't replace it with anything, and nobody's talking about it anymore. But here we are. So, of course, we'll have to take a look and come back next week, have a little bit more of a discussion about this particular issue of DACA. A lot of things are still uh, on the table, and things are fluctuating from week to week. That's why we always bring Lee in. Lee, thanks a lot. Good to be back. All right. Listen, take a quick break. We'll be back with more Open. Stay with us. Come right back right after this.